guys koboko master has um, been the um, industry for a long time and he has been a soccer commentator for a very very time i call him master of the most of you know him and he is also a comedian we have in nigeria okay koboko um we have a um, few questions as um in your own view what are the projections of face of solar international and in what are your advice for women who has um inspiration for um being a soccer ambassador in nigeria yeah they are very brilliant set of people by the way very brilliant set of people one of the best women any man can marry is a woman who loves football yeah yeah because they are naturally very interesting individuals and um if you as the husband also loves football that makes it entirely superb because um if you if you are a woman who loves football and you have a husband who loves football and if you guys can just understand that this game is about the fun from the part of the fans you know and don't take it overboard trust me that marriage will be like the best marriage ever you know that marriage will be like the best marriage ever you know so don't take it overboard but just understand that it is fun on the part of the uh, supporters you see now i am repeating myself on the part of the supporters you understand me because um, on the part of the players it might not just be fun it is a competition you know, so sometimes it is allowed that they should get overboard, get a little bit erratic, a quick rush of blood to the head. You see them do some irrational things because once you're competing, you it is you are bound to do those things. But you that is not competing that you're viewing, you must understand what it takes to keep your calm and enjoy the game. You know, there are three things that happen in sports. You win, you lose, or you draw. You understand me you win you lose or you draw so once you set your mind on these three one of them must happen you know so what that means is there is nothing that happens to you in sport that is unexpected because the three things that must happen that are sure as death are win lose or draw so if you have your mind set out on these three things no matter the the situation what it means is nothing is coming to you unexpected there is nothing that will cut your heart. There is nothing that will give you heart attack. There is nothing that will stop your breathing unexpectedly, you know, because you already set out your mind to have this three, one among these three. You understand me? So any woman who loves football is precious, you know, especially when she understands that it is for fun. You know, you don't let it get to your head. You don't let it get to If it gets to your head, it could cause malice for you and your husband. It could lead to divorce. That's how dangerous sport can be. You understand me? If it gets to your head, it could cause malice. It could go as far as leading to divorce. You understand me? So once you understand what it means, you know, to love sport and love it from the part of a fun, trust me, you are going to be safe, true and true. Okay. All right. That's fine. Um, thank you so much. Um, um, another question is, as uh, you are experiencing uh, soccer analyze, um, analyzing uh, for past, um, past years and um, in soccer, um, do you think the um, fit of the international is a very good way of putting soccer in Nigeria? You have to go by that question. I didn't get it. I said in your. Uh, of soccer nigeria international beauty project is a very is a good another way or another good way of promoting soccer in nigeria and africa yeah yeah especially on the part of the women uh, i think it's a very brilliant thing to do especially on the part of the women you know let's have more female uh, uh fans you know coming to watch football let's have um uh, female fans making their way to stadium to view games, you know. So I think it's going to help a lot because we see it outside the country. 
you know you watch a liverpool fan uh, you know watch a liverpool game at um, anfield you go to stanford bridge you see chelsea fans you see most women are there with their husbands you go to new camp in um, barcelona you go to santiago Bernabeu. you go to the milan stadiums you go to the signal in juna park he goes to the uh, um the sea of yellow talking about villarreal you know Vicente de Cadron, you know, so um, Metropolitano. Every stadium you go in the world, you see women in their numbers. You understand me? So what that means is, um, if the economy is good, people can have the luxury of time to come and see games. You know, but in Nigeria, we work too hard. We work too hard, so the women don't even have the time to see games. The men that do it most times, they have to scratch out from their very limited time to even do it. You know, so I think um, it is a good thing. It is a good campaign. I was listening to Mrs. Orisha Femi. Yeah, she was talking about women, uh, how they've been doing so much without getting much recognitions, that some of the boys that just got into the game um, are getting more recognitions. Yeah, like I always advise, whenever you want to, whenever you want to put out a campaign, Whatever you want to put out the campaign, I beg you, don't make it a man versus woman thing. I hate, I can't, I can never support such an idea. You know, it shouldn't be a man versus a woman thing. Let it be something that you're doing for humanity. Let it be that you're trying to better what is on ground. I can tell you for a fact, not until Sales Ferguson left Manchester United, as religious as the club, as fundamental as the club, they, they never had a female team. But the English media never talked about it. Not until I said Alex Ferguson left Manchester United, Manchester United never had a female team. I don't know if you understand me, you know, and that did not stop them from making money. That did not stop them from being the biggest club in the world. You understand me? So this issue of women and men, you must fight it with a lot of intelligence. If not, you will cross the line. And once you cross the line, the people in position, people in position to push you, the people in position to, push you, the people in position to accept you, to accommodate you, we create a barrier around themselves, and you will never assess your helpers. You know, so I, 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 I hate competitions that, that that are born out of nothing. You know, so let's let's bring women to the game. Let's embrace more of them. You know, but don't make your campaign a a case of men versus women. You understand me? Because I can tell you. For a fact, there are women who earns money in football. Mata da Silva earns about three fifty thousand every month, every year, three fifty thousand dollars. Yes, tell me, uh, Alex Morgan earns about three hundred thousand dollars every year. Um, what's her name again? Um, Amadine Henry earns about two fifty. Lloyd earns about two fifty, and then Sydney. Um, Sydney, the girl from USA, earns about $200,000. Just how many days ago, our own very sister, Osinachi Ohale, signed for AS Roma. He signed for AS Roma from Real Madrid. You know, so women football, as is at Oshuala, is in Barcelona female team. Women football is making waves. If you know what you're doing, if you can play the soccer, there are teams out there that will employ your services. You know, there is nobody that does not like good things. You know, so we've we, we seen the likes of Opara uh, 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 and the rest of them. Once you're good as a woman, you play Adule Charity, another Nigerian who plays football. You know, so uh, Mata, Mata at the age of 32, she holds the highest amount of goals in the World Cup. So she scored 15, you know. So she's, a celeb she's celebrated all over the world. Mata is not just for Brazil, Mata is for the world. So once you're good at what you do, I think you, you'll be accepted anywhere around the world, you know? It's just that the mistake some of our guests make most times is they think for them to succeed in football, they must totally lose their shape as women and become men. No, you can still be feminine, beautiful, and play football. You know, God, has, God gave you that ability. Don't try to make yourself extra. You can be beautiful. If you see Mata in her gown, you will not believe it's the same Mata that scores go for, for Brazil. So you can be beautiful, you can be feminine and see score gold. So you must not be a tomboy. You must not be a tomboy. You know, before you before you be a super uh, 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 footballer as a woman. Yeah?
So, Waka, can we ask you some few questions from the sec- um, comment section? Okay, let it on, let it on, let it on. Wait, um, that I mentioned the particularly funny, that um, what is it all about? Okay, that's uh, my comedy show. Uh, in as much as I'm a sport analyst, I'm a comedian, and I'm also a realist. I love to um, stick to nature and then um, always work with things that I see possibilities. You know, so I'm a comedian, it's my brand, particularly funny with Koboko Master. And, um, but we've changed the name to from that to Koboko Master Live. I haven't done the show for three years. I decided to move on, you know, to bring a new brand, you know. So as the game goes, we just try to adjust. Yeah, somebody was saying, um, you can be a soccer fan as far as you don't let it get to your head, you know. You don't let it get, yeah, I'm saying that because football is very opinionated. You know, it is only football that you tell somebody what the law states. But because of emotions, the person would not agree. You understand me? Yeah, you, in football, you can tell the person, the FIFA rule states that when a tackle starts from outside the 18 yard box and it continues into the 18 yard box, it's a penalty. Like what happened between Aspilicueta, Caesar, and Obumayang in the Chelsea game yesterday. But because you are a Chelsea fan, you are guided by so much emotion. It is only football that people argue facts. You know, because it's highly opinionated. You understand me? Because most opinions are guided by emotions. You know, so because of that, we always want to beg the women to take it because ordinarily a woman goes into an argument with a lot of emotions. You know, so by the time you add that to football, it becomes it becomes double. You know, that is why it is it is dicey. You must watch it, you must read between the lines so that you don't cross it. You know, a woman goes into an every argument with lots of emotion. You see their veins, you see their skin. Yeah, so by the time you add football to it, you can imagine what it will be when a woman argues with a man or argues with her husband. You know, she could just step out of line and that could just be the end of a very peaceful home for that night. You know, so we love women to come into it, but we want them to see it as fun. You know, not like those boys that plays betting and uh, they make football looks like their life depends on it. 